Hey, it's Jeff Green with Green Financial Group. Thanks for tuning in the video blog today. Today we have a real treat for you. We have a series of interviews with our favorite economist, Brian Westbury of First Trust Portfolios. Stick around. We'll be right back. We're with our uh, good friend and favorite economy guy and First Trust Portfolios chief economist, Brian Westbury. Brian, great to see you in Austin Jeff, again. great to be with you. Good. Absolutely. Good. Uh, I'm going to get right to it. Right. Uh, so I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but the last six <laughs> weeks of 2018 yes. uh, offered a little bit of volatility yes, in the they markets. Did. Yeah. So what's up with that? Tell us yeah. what was going on. You know, I, I, we were together a year ago and yeah. I was bullish and man, for the first half of the year, first nine months of the year, I looked like a genius and then <laughs> all of a sudden I looked like an idiot, right? Because right. um, the market went through a massive correction. And, and, some people call it a bear market because it was down 20%. I always kind of laugh at that. Why Why 20? Why not 19? Why not 21? It's just a round number. Right. But it was really a correction because bear markets happen when we have recessions. And I don't think we're going to have a recession. Uh, the evidence isn't there. Economic data is good. The Fed's not too tight. But we went through a correction. And corrections are designed to scare the snot out of people, right? Uh, and, and one of the reasons that happens is because everybody comes up with a reason for it, an excuse like, oh, global slowdown, Fed tightening too much, too much corporate debt. And all of those reasons, if you think about them, they end in the end of the world. So anybody that's been watching their accounts over the last eight, nine, ten years, feeling pretty good about themselves, all of a sudden uh, gets into this correction mode and they get scared. And uh, what I like to remind investors is volatility is the price that we pay uh, emotionally to create wealth over time. Right. So you mentioned a little bit about recession. We've been hearing a lot of that in right. financial media. So we saw uh, Q2 at 4.2% right. GDP, Q3 at 3.4% right. GDP. So is it slowing? What does that mean to our economy? Right. And is that, if we're heading for recession, what does that right. mean? Yeah. And then fourth quarter, even though we mm -hmm. won't get the data because well, unless the government opens up and then they finally catch up with the data collection. But it's only going to be two to two and a half. So we've got three quarters in a row of a slowdown. But if you really look back at the last 10 years, this has happened eight or nine times. Um, and just because quarterly GDP slows down from one quarter to the next for two or three or even four quarters doesn't mean a recession's coming because uh, GDP is a volatile data series. Almost every economic uh, series is volatile. And so you can find trends both up and down in the data. Um, but right now, the number one cause that I look to for a recession is when the Federal Reserve tightens too much. And yes, the Federal Reserve has reversed course after holding interest rates at zero for a long time. But 2.5% interest rates are still extremely low, especially in an environment with close to 3% real growth and 2% inflation. And that's not the kind of environment we uh, we would expect to see a recession in. So when I go back in history, interest rates have to be a lot higher right. than two and a half. And so where do you see interest rates for 19? Yeah, well, right now the consensus in the market is for zero, maybe one rate hike. If you listen to Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Fed, he's talking about maybe two. I think we could possibly have as many as four. But, but even if I'm right, and I'm on the outside of this forecast, even at 3.5%, the Fed's not tight. There's still a massive amount of uh, excess reserves and bank liquidity in the system. Banks are in better shape than ever. Yes, corporate debt is high, but so are corporate assets and so are corporate right. profits. Yeah. So, so the bottom line is there's no evidence that monetary policy or liquidity is getting too tight today. This was just a correction. It's a normal process. There's no real reason behind it. It's just kind of emotional. Yeah, it just happens. Yeah. It's part of a bull market. Exactly. So thanks for tuning the video blog today. I hope you got a little something out of that. Any other questions you have for me or Brian, feel free to give us a call. Make it a great day. Thanks.